Gonzo 38. I'm back here with my uh, 300 Blackout. I've got a new round that I've been working on that I, I want to try a ballistic gel test on. These are Hornady Sub X 175 grain. These projectiles were actually developed for the 3030 rifle um, and subsonic. So it's a pretty soft lead inside. As you can see, it has a flat base instead of having the boat tailed and the cantilever is pushed way forward on them so they're sitting uh, the cantilever is actually sitting about a quarter of an inch in front of the uh, neck of the projectile um, I chronographed these the other day I'm getting on average about 1775 feet per second so uh, we're gonna check my zero and uh, and accuracy of these and then later on this evening we'll go ahead and do the uh, ballistic gel test so let me get my other camera started and we'll check that out. Okay guys, I have my target set up at 75 yards. Uh, let's go ahead and throw five in here and see what we got, see what we can do. That's not too bad. It looks to me like I'm dancing all around the uh, red dot. I'll put a picture of that up there or video. All right, man. Peace. See you later on. Okay, guys. Here's the setup. I have my ballistic gel sitting in front of my bullet trap, which is a piece of terracotta pipe with some rags stuck in it. I've used this before. It works pretty well. I also have the ballistic gel sitting on top of a board that I fixed some LED lights to to try and illuminate it. There we go, now let's take this shot. All right guys, um, you should be able to see the target down range down there, it's at 70 yards. Let's uh, get some ears on and make this happen. Hey guys, Gonzo38 here. Let's take a look at the ballistic gel pretty quick. Uh, but first, let's talk about the projectile a little bit. Uh, as you can see, I mean, it really mushroomed out. At its widest point, I'm measuring 0.555. At its most narrow point, I'm measuring 0.470. So just over and just under a, a half an inch on, uh, on the two sides. Um, we also have pretty good weight retention. It went into the ballistic gel at 175.5 grains, came out of the ballistic gel at 148.8 grains, uh, which left about 26.7 grains of material inside the, uh, inside the ballistic gel. Uh, muzzle velocity for this is 1,750 feet per second. Uh, it went into the ballistic gel at 75 yards at uh, 1613. Um, so that's twice the speed at, at what um, Hornady suggests it, it's traveling for uh, expansion. But uh, 
I mean, that, there's really not much to talk about on the on the uh, wound channel itself or the or the gelatin, as you saw. I mean, that was just an awesome display uh, when it uh, when it went into the into the gel. I mean, it really expanded. We had a, a nice size, temporary um, expansion of the of the gel, and then uh, just a really nice wound channel. Uh, looking at it here, I can see a bunch of lead. I mean, there's just lead throughout, all the way down. Uh, uh, with their own little wound channels. Looking at the entrance here, uh, we have almost immediate expansion. Um, there's about a quarter of an inch or so uh, of neck before we got expand, before it started to expand. And uh, we've got really good expansion all the way out here to about 11 inches. And then it starts to taper off a little bit. And again, you can see down here at the end, there's like all these little tiny uh, wound channels themselves, just a little plume right there. That's a, a bunch of little lead shards that came off the projectile as it was exiting the, the gelatin. So, and all in all, it really did an excellent job on that. Uh, pos quite possibly a, a really good uh, deer hunting round, uh, possibly even pig. I don't know. Uh, we'll have to take a look at that later on. But, um, console 38 out. Peace.